fucking bitch. Talking about don't make me do this. This nigga talking about some uh, 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 uh. the hell. I'm locked up already? Golly, I ain't even did nothing yet. The game just started. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time? Every time. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Uh, uh who? You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Oh shit! Now what if I had to make a uh, decision and that happened? I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. Well, you meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Yeah. Sure. How you see it? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be idea. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know that lady. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Oh, um, I get it. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Ugh, I'm sitting in the nigga snot. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, Damn. it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? Did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Damn. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Man. Oh, I got another good one for you. 
This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. It's on the road, bitch! I don't know what to do. I think my nigga dead, bro. Nigga in the front seat. Oh, man. Wake the fuck up! Bro. Wake your black ass up. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. My leg. Damn, I nigga got a cut. Damn. Why the hell did he have his gun out? I can't no. Uh... Hey! Hey officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! No no. Officer! Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Not moving. Damn it. Okay. Ah. But I kicked those. Boom. I need to. Drag myself out that window. Come on, Craig. I need to drag myself out that window. How about me, little nigga? Like, get your black ass up. I thought that was his knee. Looks empty. Her leg. Damn. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. Okay. Officer? Ossifer? Damn, I gotta... I see. I gotta do everything in this motherfucker, huh? God, bro. Jeez Louise, man. I gotta do everything. Officer. Whoa! Uh, 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 holy shit! Get back. Get away from me! It's one, it's one shotgun shell. Oh.
You fucking bitch. Talking about don't make me do this. This nigga talking about some <laughs> the hell. Man, where I shot that nigga in the quickness. The fuck? Help! Go get someone. There's been a shooting. Y'all got little children walking around. All kind of shit, man. It's Scary movie. Get up, nigga. Oh, my God. Don't trip over the nigga he just killed. What? You, you, he's right there. How do you not see him? <laughs> Is that Trevor from GTA? Hello? Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. Wonder if anybody's home. Hello. Anybody Hello. home? To need a little help. B body. B body. You owe me five dollars, nigga. Open the door. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder or one of them intruder intruder he's trying to my nigga take out I do. Oh, we got coloring books shit what y'all got in the kitchen no oh, niggas hungry how's that oh, Jesus Huh? Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. 
Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Ugh, nigga, I wasn't supposed to... Fuck. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's crazy. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. I ain't your daddy. Girl. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Uh, oh, who is this? Uh, what's, what's your, your name? name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Oh, my nigga named Lee? Where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? Where's Sandra? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Is this Sandra? <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Bitch ass nigga. Ho. <laughs> I was scared for my life. <laughs> Hi there. My name, my name, uh. Did you kill it? Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been. All by yourself through this? Through this shit? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um. Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here before the sun goes down. We help. need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me.
Clementine, slow down. You got me worried already. I'm already walking with the limp. Yep. Oh, man. Hey, yo. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Well, it's hot dish night. Yeah, I hope y'all. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. I mean, I gotta eventually put tell her her parents ain't coming back. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're huh? not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. The chomp? Uh, Do you know on? what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Nah, if I would have said just some guy, they would have thought I was some some pedophile or something. What do you want to do? I. Your monsters come out. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. All right, we on. We on. We on. What are those guys, neighbors, too? Why are you all out of my ear? Golly. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Um. We, uh, need a place to stay. Oh, I should've said your boy is life You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So, it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, oh, why y'all pressing me? Pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. 
Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yeah, it could be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <sighs> How'd this I happen? Look, I gotta lie by my name, folks. Um, uh, car accident. car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Why are you asking all these questions, bruh? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with oh. mine. We got another Damn. family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your you daughter are welcome you to rest me. there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. What? Those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Mm. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Ah. Uh. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Ford's making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> what, 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 what? Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Yeah, it was. I missed my mom and dad. That was a swear. Girl. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> this is my wife? Oh, shit. <gasps> hey, get up. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. 
Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Doc, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! How can I will hop to it? Bro, I can keep an eye on your little, little girl. Little, uh, uh, we can visit. Alrighty then. How y'all doing? How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. He doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I mean, I beat the shit out of I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. Kacha? We were coming like back from visiting. We were in a gas Kachi station Bakugo? and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Hmm. You got a boat. Hey, neighbors! Where's the boat? 
You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. <laughs> oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Yeah, I'm good. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. Timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things what are don't you get talking better about? back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Mm -hmm. So whoever you are and whatever you did, Keep it to your damn self. Oh. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the fuck? Go! No! I'll get my gun!
idea. Yeah. What the, the fuck, fuck Kenny? I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Huh? I thought I could get them I both. Thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now? I thought if I got butt, Please. butt, dust Let's off go. of the tractor, then I could get the tractor off his leg. And never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Damn. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there and we let them we can't trust anybody we already know that you'll have to excuse her the hell he or anyone will this is about survival do you guys not see what's happening what is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I know what to say. I know what to say. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic. That's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't even he wasn't bitten. bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end You go this clean now. the nigga then. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we <laughs> don't, don't have a bite. Bro, so we dead, gotta bro. throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, Why are you asking me? Just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm. Ah, beat his ass. Or kick his mean? ass. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. 
Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Oh, man. Oh, man. Damn! He slept, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny <laughs> slept. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> You back up already? Oh. Oh. <sighs> shit, 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 shit. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Help me! God damn. I'm just gonna stand there and watch me get fucking. Y'all just gonna stand there and watch me get fucking. You okay? I'm straight. Just great, thanks. Bro. Y'all some hoes, bro. Uh, guys? Everybody down. She heard, they heard that gunshot. I gotta get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died that because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, Isn't they having a heart attack, uh, bruh? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do On the playground is where I spend most of my days. All right. Spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll right, shift Doug in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. 